Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. We're tracking some big time storms that could affect us this afternoon. A little change over the last couple of days where these storms in the Midwest are going to have a big impact on the Carolinas and possibly the Coke 600. So this is going to be specifically geared towards the Coke 600 because it is the biggest event going on in the Carolinas today. But you can see the big cluster of storms. We call these MCSs. It's just a fancy acronym for mesoscale convective system. And what that means, that's hard to understand. That's just a complex of thunderstorms, a large cluster of storms. It is heading towards India right now at around 1020 this morning. But what we're watching is this thing is going to develop throughout the afternoon and it's going to do one of these. It's going to head right into the Carolinas like that. That is going to be our potential for storm. So it's all about timing. Um, most of the day will be dry because before this thing gets here, temperatures are surging up into the 80s and 90s, possibly in a few locations. It's super muggy. Dew points are in the 60s. So the fuel or the thunderstorm cape, we call it, is really high ahead of this system. So let's talk about the future cast. All right, so here's our future cast. I'm going to show you first what we're looking at as far as severe weather outlook today. And it kind of tells you exactly where we think these storms are going to go. They're forming here, but guess where they're going to, going to move later this afternoon. They're riding the ridge of high pressure to our south. So that's what we'll be watching. So the good news is we, got it, we kind of know what's ahead of us. These aren't going to sneak up on us um, as they push in from the north and west. So we're going to slowly but surely watch these move in our direction throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours. Now, what we need to watch for is tomorrow, oh, if we're gonna see a risk of severe storms too, I'll put that up. There could be some lingering severe weather here before it pushes off to the east, and then you can see it's completely gone. So I didn't wanna show you that risk, and it's all about wind with this, by the way. Could there be an isolated tornado? Sure, in there, but this is a wind setup. Like as we go through time, I'll stop this around three o'clock this afternoon. Notice we're fairly dry, uh, not a lot going on. So that's why I say most of today will end up being nice. It's once this big cluster gets here, we'll get to about 5 p.m. And this is when we could start to see storms develop in the mountains. So for the Coke 600, I actually think we'll probably get started. Um, the race will probably start on time as long as there's no delays starting the race. Um, and they're probably thinking we want to get this thing going because the later it gets, we're going to be running into more of an issue. So here's at five o'clock. We go to six o'clock. The race should be starting. Storms around us, but far enough away to not be a threat. Seven o'clock, probably still racing. Lightning, we'll keep an eye on. Eight miles is the radius. So It'll be close. Eight o'clock. Ooh, this is where I think things get interesting. We could see storms around here. Certainly by 9 p.m., we're going to have storms in our area. So that 8 to 9 p.m. time frame. So I think the race starts, but we're going to be dealing with storms at some point. And then when they get in here, they could linger for a while. So if we're at the halfway point, the race might just be halfway um, because I think once these storms start, they're not going to end real quickly. So this is not just one storm. This is a huge cluster. So that's the problem with these storms arriving. Unlike a pop-up storm that moves in and out, this is going to be a big cluster. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's a double-edged sword here. And the, the great thing about big clusters of storms, it tends to be completely dry before it gets here. The bad news, once it gets here, it rains for a while. So um, that's the one downside of this. And just by the way, Indy, you know, they could clear out by three or four. I think maybe even, maybe by five for sure. Four o'clock might be close, but maybe four or five up there, and then that pushes through. So for the Indy 500, they're going to be impacted by the exact same system we're going to be impacted just earlier in the day. So stay weather aware today for those evening plans. We'll be watching it carefully. It's all about watching the radar today and see how things develop. The one thing I will caution you when you're looking at the radar today, you'll see the storms off to the west. Watch for new storms that could possibly develop ahead of that main line. That's something that could be a wild card in all this as we go into the afternoon.